guys, this is Nikita Sivakamari, and today we're going to be talking about what are the small differences between the plant cell and the animal cell. So, for, um, but in one of my previous videos uh, about uh, the organelles and animal cells, I said that there's some slight differences in the plant cell, and that's what we're going to be talking about. So these slight differences consist of different organelles. So as you can see here, uh, just on high speed, I'm draw the animal cell and the plant cell are going to be drawn. Right now it's the animal cell. As you can see, there's the mitochondria and everything forming all those organelles. And here comes the plant cell. So as you see the plant cell being drawn, you're probably going to notice some differences right away. And one of these differences is that the plant cell is square, or at least it's more rectangular, compared to the animal cell. And the, well, the animal cell, because the animal cell is circular. And this is um, the first difference that we're going to note down. The animal cells are circular, while plant cells are square, at least more rectangular. And so this is one of the basic differences, right? And so next, you're going to see, so um, what I did was, as I was drawing this, I colored the same organelles the same color. So you're going to notice this organelle specifically, the vacuole which is much smaller in the animal cell. However, it's very large in the plant cell. It's, um, and the reason is because the plant cell stores a lot of water because that's one of the most main nutrients that's vital for the plant. And since, and so in order to accommodate all that water, the square, um, <laughs> the square, the plant cell needs, um, it needs a larger vacuole. So that's our next difference large vacuole for the plant cell and for the animal cell is a smaller vacuole. And then also um, another difference is that some the animal cells have some organelles that are just unique to the animal cell and there's two of these actually and that is the lysosome and the centriole. These, um, these two organelles are not necessary to the plant cell, and therefore the plant cell does not have these organelles. So, just to symbolize that, I'll put an X. And um, the plant cell also has two organelles that are just unique to the plant cell. And see, one of these is this tiny little green organelle with the stripes in it, and that is called the chloroplast. And there are many chloroplasts within the cell, actually, you'll see that. And see, the chloroplast, it's, it is actually green. It is um, a green pigmented organelle, and it provides the green pigment of the plant. And, <coughs> excuse me, and it's what, st um, it's what stores sunlight. It's what absorbs the sunlight and stores it and converts that sunlight into energy, into food. It's what, it's what allows photosynthesis, um, really. So obviously, animals do not photosynthesize, and so they do not need the chloroplast. And also, the reason why we're not green like plants is because we don't have chloroplast. We do not have any green pigment within our cells. Also, um, our next difference is this, um, oops, sorry guys, um, this outer green layer which is called a cell wall. And we do not have that, we just have a cell membrane. And the plant cell also has a cell membrane, but it has an extra, um, it has an extra layer around it, um, and that's called a cell wall. And the cell wall, it provides support around the cell, and it's, it's like this thick material, and it's what forces the cell into the square shape. And it provides support in the sense when it's stacked up, you know, it's what makes the plant straight because the plant doesn't. So, because the plant has to be kind of like this, right? Let it though. It's just to draw a small little flower, right? It, it it stands up like this, and that's how. And it's because of the cell walls that are stacked. So they're um the cell walls. It's a it's a little thick. It's um it's a thicker material. So when it's st it's stacked up, it provides that nice support, that nice arching plant. So. We do not have the cell wall, we do not need the cell wall, but um, plants do need the cell wall. So these are the differences really. Um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it for the differences. So like I said, they're very small 
differences and not very many, but also these small differences are also kind of major. I mean, they're compl- the, the, the effects of the different organelles are very different. I mean, if we had chloroplast, we'd be green. And if we had, um, and you know, so you know that, so like, they're major in a way, but um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much our, um, th- th- that's pretty much the differences between the animal cell and the plant cell. So thanks you guys for watching and that's that's pretty much it. Thanks you guys. Bye.